Yeah, good morning. This is 6267 X ray on the ground, brandy wine, looking for an IFR to Romeo Uniform, Quebec. November 67 X ray cleared to Romeo Uniform, Quebec via Enter Control Airspace, direct to uh, Medina. Better vectors, DuPont has filed. Climbing team 3000, expect 6000, one zero minutes after departure. Departure frequency is 124.35, squawk 2714, hold for release. Clear to Romeo Uniform, Quebec via direct Medina, direct DuPont as filed. 3000, then 6000, 10 minutes after departure, 124. And 2714 for the squawk. 67 actually, you read back strike. Hold for release, and ready to depart. Thanks. All right. Thanks. Brandywine Airport. Automated weather observation. One, one, three, three. Zulu weather. Wind, zero, niner, zero, at three. Visibility, seven. Clear, below, one, two, thousand. Temperature, one, Celsius. Dew point, minus, zero, altimeter, two, niner, niner, zero. Brandywine traffic, NASA 626, on X-ray reporting, runway 27, I-4 departure to the southwest, Brandywine. Uh, 6267 X-ray, 1,500 for 3,000. 6267 X-ray, Philly departs, right dent, altimeter 29 or 9 or 2. I dent, 9 or 9 or 2. Number 67 X-ray, radar contact, uh, west of Brandy 1, climb and maintain 4,000. Up to 4,000, 67 X-ray. Street 5440, you're about 7 from Kelly, turn left heading 120, descend to 2000, so established, cleared Isla Zulu, 9 right approach. Okay, 120, join clear to the Isla Zulu, 9 right to the uh, 440. December 6, 7, X-ray traffic, 1 o'clock and 6 miles northeast, on descending to 7, then E-145. We'll be looking for 6, 7, X-ray. UPS 9750 to center maintain 6000, turn right heading 180, back to the final. 6000, 180 heading EPS 9750. 67XR traffic's no fact, you can contact Dover on 132.42. Have a good day. 3242, good day, 67XR. Dover approach, good morning. Bonanza 6267 X-ray, 6000. Bonanza 6267XR, Dover approach, good over altimeter 29 or 89. Six two six seven X-ray six thousand. Six two six seven X-ray. Total approach one hundred two hundred eight seven. Nine eight seven. One Bravo Uniform Airport off the right three o'clock in seven miles of One Bravo Uniform Roger. Uh, clear visual approach only one zero. Eagle zero one zero. Two forty four turn ten degrees right in the center maintain three thousand. Ten right ten three thousand two forty four. Sun is just about to come up. All right, we got two hours and 15 minutes to go. Down to uh, Mid Carolina Regional. Drop off the Bonanza, get some rudder vader work done. Hey, and I'll call the protection, uh, protection approach say again. Bonanza 6267 X ray, 6000. Bonanza 6267 X ray, protection approach, protection altimeter 29087. Good morning. 987, good morning. Here's the Chesapeake Bay, and you can actually see Tangier Island all the way down there in the haze towards the horizon. Very 
cool airfield there, Tangier, right in the middle of Chesapeake Bay. There we go, across the Chesapeake Bay, just over Patuxent River now. So looking at the Tafts, it looks like we should probably make it there before the front, so that's good. It's a Richmond Vortac, uh, 114.1. Tracking it on a course of uh, two two eight, and it's supposed to be two two nine or so. That's definitely good enough. Now we can do a nav check here. Okay, so two tango up, we have come back there. We compare those two, and we have uh, two tango up a one two eight point five. We got about 52. two degrees difference, which is still acceptable. We've done our nav check. We're right over Richmond. Turning to uh, 249 or. Roger, station 884 Hotel Juliet, 1.6, climb 3000. Medevac 888 for Hotel Juliet, stomach departure, radar contact, climb and maintain 1 and 2000, proceed direct Hopewell. 12,000 direct Hopewell, Hotel Juliet. So it does appear that is what's showing up is precipitation here on, on the radar. It's got to be really thick fog. Looking at uh, METARS, the visibility is less than a quarter mile and fog, and as we can see, over in that direction, there is a very thick, low layer of ground fog there. And at the 6-7 x-ray, contact Washington Center, 118.75. 118.75 for 6-7 x-ray. Washington Center, Bonanza, 626 7 x-ray, 6,000. 626 7 x-ray, Washington Center, Richmond, altimeter 29085. 985. Flying over this fog layer now, but it does look significantly better up north. It's good to know, just in case we need to divert or anything like that, that definitely north would be the direction to go. So I would say we probably have about an hour 20 minutes to go. Yeah, an hour 12 minutes to go. And uh, still the weather looks good. Visibility 10 miles and uh, clear. Over at Hickory, they now are reporting broken 2600. So we do have the cloud later coming in, being pushed in front of that cold front. But I actually doubt that it's going to make it to um, Salisbury before we get there. But yeah, this should not be um, should not be too dramatic. So that's very cool. You can see the antenna sticking up out of the ground fog layer. Kind of tells you how how shallow that fog really is. See stuff sticking up. Very cool. Two. Sons of Cargo 8225 Washington Center, hello. Meter 4376, the center maintained flow level 270. 6701, cut of Washington Center, 118.75. Uh, 322 Washington Center, Charlottesville, Summer 2983. American 1575, maintain uh, Mach 71. That's Tuck, just outside of South Boston. We got about eight miles to go to the Vortac. Yeah, the headwinds are getting stronger and stronger the closer we're getting to this system. Um, really slow now. And it's probably going to keep getting worse as we're getting closer to the destination. Greensboro approach, Bonanza 6267 X ray, 6000. We're 6267 X ray, Greensboro approach, December 2976. 976. Alright, uh, we've crossed into North Carolina now. Uh, we got 36 minutes to go. And the weather is still clear. That reports from 20 minutes ago. Well, actually, just to the west. It's broken at 2,900, and even just south of it is broken 2,200. So, a little bit of clouds towards the very end, but uh, shouldn't be an issue. You can see the front now, all along to our front, to our right. We're direct destination now. We got about 54 miles to go, and um, 
ADC told us to expect a visual, which uh, is good news. It is getting a little hazy though, and uh, can see that front moving in. I'm starting to see some clouds here on my right hand side. But I think we should be able to get there uh, while it's still clear. Let's see if we can get the latest weather. Mid Carolina Regional Airport Automated Weather Observation 1404 Zulu Weather Wind 200 at 6 Visibility 102700 Scattered Temperature 4 Celsius 2.1 Altimeter 29760 Yeah, so it's still scattered at uh, 2700 that uh, should definitely be possible with the visual if it doesn't get any worse but the fact that it's no longer clear and now uh, has a scattered layer that means that the clouds from the front is starting to move in as we can see also uh, both to our right and right ahead so we'll see we still got about 20 minutes to go so uh, things can happen Bonanza 67 X-ray descend to pilot's discretion maintain 3000 pilot's discretion down to 3000 67 X-ray we timed this perfectly. Those clouds are just moving in. Uh, Greensboro approach, 67 X-ray. November 67 X-ray, go ahead. Yeah, these clouds are moving in here. We're going to need vectors for the ILS, please. November 67 X-ray, roger. Turn right heading of 260. Right down 260, 67 X-ray. Load that approach. And I bet now as we get through this layer, we're probably going to see perfectly. But that's okay. Rather play it safe. The outside temperature is still about 4 degrees centigrade. We're not picking up any ice. Got a little bit of moisture on the screen. And it does not look as it's very thick. I can actually see the ground. And now we're basically below this and we probably should be able to see the airport. November 6, 7, X-ray, turn left heading to 5 zero. Left turn 25067 X-ray. November 6267 X-ray, 11 miles from Rossi. Turn left heading 230. Maintain 2500 to establish on the localizer. Clear to ILS. Runway 20 approach in the Mid Carolina. Left turn 230. Maintain 2500 until established. Clear ILS 20 into Mid Carolina 67 X-ray. November 117 Mike Alpha, Greensboro approach, altimeter 2977, clear direct branch, vector for the visual approach, 23 left. Yeah, in this haze, it would actually have been very hard to see the airport. November 7 Mike Alpha, descend at pilot's discretion, maintain 4000. Finance 67 X ray, report cancellation of IFR. This frequency prior to landing or on the grounds of Charlotte, change to advisory frequency approved. Change frequency and we'll report cancellation this frequency. Six seven X-ray. Mid Carolina traffic bonanza six seven X-ray ten miles to the north inbound ILS two zero. Mid Carolina. Greensboro approach bonanza six two six seven X-ray cancel IFR. Seven six seven X-ray IFR cancellation received. Have a good day. Good day six seven X-ray. Gumps. Yes. Undercarriage, mixture, prop, switches, seatbelts. Mid Carolina traffic, Bonanza 67 X ray, 4 mile final, runway 20, Mid Carolina. Yeah, that front is really closing in. Like half an hour to an hour later, it probably would have been IFR conditions here. Mid Carolina traffic, Bonanza 67 X ray, on final, 20, Mid Carolina. Mid-Carolina traffic, Bonanza 6-7-X is clear of the active Mid-Carolina. 